y'all? It's your boy Carcino here. And Oscar De La Hoya has finally given up on Victor Ortiz. After watching the fight, he just said, wow. You know, gave props to Colazzo and said, I think it's time Ortiz retired. So, I mean, look at it. He's cost him a lot of money. He cost him the Canelo fight. <laughs> You know, the Floyd rematch. Both of them dudes probably upset. You know, both of them. Just sitting there like students and blue millions for us. Millions. Every time we finna schedule something, something go wrong with this crazy dude. And I think it's a good thing because I think he needs a mental evaluation because he does things in the way he talks. He's kind of crazy. I mean, like, really crazy. Not like somebody saying, like, you know, I think he's a little off. No, he's off. Mentally, in his, high, in his head, he just lies to himself so much. He really believes it. He was, remember the interview? He's, well, I, my corner told me to go out and try to headbutt. And I said, that's crazy. That's a foul. And he can never take responsibility for anything. So... What does he do in this fight? He goes right in and tries to head button and foul again. As soon as the fight starts. So, I don't know. Talking about at a crossroads? That was the crossroads. I mean, the only thing that I could see that's in his favor is that he's never in a boring fight. If you want somebody to open up the card or something, or be a co-main event, throw Victor Ortiz on there. Something's going to happen. He gonna either knock the guy out or bash him up or he gonna quit him. So, <laughs> so that's just it. I mean, if somebody bet money on Victor Ortiz and saw that performance last night, <laughs> did he just just say, you know what, I'm gonna stay here to ten? Man, you know he's 27 years old and you know it's like, look, go and enjoy your life, man, cause. I doubt go to boys don't keep putting you in some, these type of events where you basically losing the money. This is supposed to have been a warm up fight for you to get to a big fight. But I'm glad for Lou Colazzo though. Louis deserves it. So that's it. That's all I got to say on this.